The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Olaemi Kadoso, has announced that the Apex Bank has transitioned from firefighting mode to strategic planning in order to achieve forex stability. Now, this shift comes after six months of grappling with economic challenges such as inflation and volatility in the foreign exchange market. Kadoso made a statement during a joint press briefing with the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy at the IMF World Bank Spring Meetings in Washington, D.C. He emphasized that the focus of the CBN is not on improving the ease of doing business in Nigeria, aiming to foster an efficient and transparent market system that will benefit small businesses and households. Now, key initiatives including uh, utilizing technology and remote banking solutions to reduce transaction costs and increase access to financial services. Now, these measures are part of a broader agenda to create a more resilient and inclusive economic framework, moving away from emergency measures that previously dominated the central bank's agenda. Now, today on the program, we will delve into the most recent update regarding the country's forex regulations specifically highlighting the reforms implemented by the CBN. Welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Nakadoye. All right, welcome back. Uh, Amban is set to actually bring back Senate to Pure's operations in the country. But just away from all of the let's talk on Nigeria's Forex regulation, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Yemi Kadoso, addressed the recent depreciation of the exchange rate, noting it as a temporary volatility with fluctuations expected. Kadoso highlighted the Naira's rebound over the weekend and assured Nigerians that efforts have been made to stabilize the exchange rate through policy reforms. Now, Shagun Shokwito, principal partner at Woodridge and Scott Consultant Limited, Joins me now to discuss further on this matter. Good morning to you, Shego. Good morning, Justin. Thanks yeah. for having me. It is indeed a pleasure. I trust you have been keeping up with the recent development in the nation's forex uh, regime. The Sibian governor, Olayemi Kadosa, believes that we have shifted from firefighting to strategic planning. What is your opinion on this transition? Well, um... I understand what the CBN governor means, um, given the, the events that followed his appointment um, within the space of a three-month period between, I think it was about October, September that they came on board, um, and January. You know, if we count the number of policies, um, regulations, circulars that came out of the CBN, um, <laughs> It was at, at a point it, it became very confusing. It was like a whirlwind. You know, the circulars were sometimes you'd have circulars come out three or four times in, in the course of two days, you know. So clearly that was, that was, that was exactly what he's called it. It was a firefight. Um, and there, were, there was a need to fight a fire. Uh, even though one, one, one could argue that, um, uh, the central bank, the government and the central bank actually set that fire ablaze in the first instance. And the, the proprietary, you know, the necessity or expediency of that action of setting that fire ablaze remains, you know, a, a subject of uh, debate amongst um, experts, you know, in, in, in the industry. I think the general opinion is yes, something needed to be done about uh, the fundamentals of the economy, the foundation, the foundational issues on, uh, on the structure of the economy needed to be addressed, um, but. Was the action taken the right action? Was the timing of the action the right time? Um, was the planning um, appropriate? Was the implementation done properly? You know, all of those things, in my opinion, led to the crisis we found ourselves in um, towards the end of last year, mm. the early part of this year, that, that that then resulted in the need to fight a fire. Um, but, but having said that, um, it's clear, it's beginning to become clear that some of those policies have worked. Um, Again, there's still a bit of a debate as to which one of those policies have actually resulted in the results that we're seeing now. Um, and that debate is... All right, uh, Shago, uh, if you can hear us. Uh, despite the, yes, I can hear you. Okay, I despite the Naira being yeah. recognized as the best performing currency in April, 
The CBN uh, boss, Cardoso, mentions that FX rate volatility will not disappear overnight, indicating continuous fluctuations in the market. What are your views on this particular matter? Yes, um, volatility, um, if it's temporary volatility, you know, short periods within the markets, sometimes distortions do happen in markets, all markets, um, as long as, you know, it's um, a market that is accessible to a large um, number of players. Um, you will have periods when things may just go a bit volatile, depending on the activities of players in that market. Uh, what you don't want to see is volatility that extends for long periods of time. So if you have a two-day period where rates just move up or move down, maybe because there's some big transaction that came up or there's some big news, you know, that came out, you know, and all of that, whether you're talking about stock markets or foreign exchange markets, uh, commodities markets, news moves the markets, um, big transactions move the markets, you know, so volatility, you know, that occurs maybe over a two-day period, you know, it, it's not unusual. And usually the market would adjust, you know, it would, it would adjust back to the fundamentals. What you don't want to see volatility that extends for days and weeks. And in our own case, for months, you know, where we had a situation where, uh, for two or three months, the Naira just kept losing value, you know, on a, on a daily basis. We've, we've crossed that now. Um, the volatility that we've experienced over the weekend, uh, one can only suppose that that was driven by some activities in the market, maybe some news. Um, the expectation is that the market would adjust. So like the CBN government said, you see some ups and you see some downs every now and then. What you want to see is a pattern and a trend over an extended period. So if we, if we look at what the, the Naira has done in the last two weeks, for example, say from April, the beginning of April till, till, till day, three weeks, what's the trend? Are we gaining or are we um, um, or, or losing value. So I think that's the important thing. So let's, let's, we'll observe what the market is doing in the course of this week. And that will determine whether what is going on is something fundamental or it's just a natural, um, simple market movements. Uh, so for me, no cause for alarm at the moment. All right. No cause for alarm now. But the CPN uh, governor is aiming to double diaspora remittances. I don't know, some people are saying it's very lofty, but in your opinion, is this goal overly ambitious? I don't think it can be. I don't think it's overly ambitious, and I, and I want to commend him, you know, because I, I, I think that this is, this is one of the things that I've said in the public space over the last, you know, year and a half or so, uh, that we do have a very vibrant, large, um, prosperous diaspora community as a country. Um, Nigerians travel abroad all the time, that we have Nigerians that have been in different parts of the world for decades, you know, and they're doing well. Um, because they are Nigerians. So if you, if you, if, for example, if you look at the gross national income of the country, you find that, you know, that includes your, your GDP and the income that is earned, you know, by Nigerians across the world. Uh, you know, it's a good number. So we need to find a way to harness all of that. And I think that, you know, doing 20, billion dollars 23 billion the average is about 20 billion sometimes 18 17 billion sometimes 22 i think the highest we've had um that to my mind or to my you know to my knowledge is about 25 billion dollars so if if the cbn government is governor is saying that he can he can target or aim to improve that number to say 50 billion dollars i would say go for it because i think it's possible um a lot the, the significant chunk of the 20 billion average that we're doing currently um, is financing subsistence activities, you know, largely. It's financing living habits of Nigerians. It's financing, um, you know, uh, uh, basic issues. Maybe somebody wants to build a house, you know, a little investment here and there, sending back some of their earnings home to support family and friends, you know, all of that. We can put a bit more structure, in fact, not a bit more structure, a whole lot more structure into the activities of our diaspora community to encourage them to send money home for, for productive activities, to send money home in a systematic and structured manner. If we put in the right policies, one, that would encourage them to send money home and put in the right instruments and framework that would attract that money naturally in an, in an organic manner. 
Hmm. Then you could really see a huge jump. It, it appears to me, if, if you ask me, the numbers that we do currently, the 20 billion that we do currently, it's really it's something that just happens as a matter of course. You know, it's just a natural thing that would result from the fact that you've got family abroad who is supporting people at home. Hmm. We need to go beyond that and okay. actually put structural framework to getting that money in. And if we do that, I think doubling it can, is even conservative. I think we can easily triple that number All right. if we put in the right mechanism and policies in place. Mm. Okay, now, he um, that's Cardoso noted and positive responses from foreign portfolio investors uh, suggesting an improvement in sentiment. I want to ask if you think that's a, a reliable indicator. But then challenges like high inflation uh, due to increase in food prices, transportation and energy costs persist. The government anticipates a decrease in inflation soon. Are you optimistic as well? Yeah, I, 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 I think the question would be soon. You have to define soon. You know, so for me, <laughs> I think inflation will come down. Um, you know, it, it's a cyclical thing, actually. Um, except if you've gotten something fundamentally wrong or you fail to take action when you see it um, uh, escalating. Uh, then typically, you know, you would have a cycle where inflation goes up, government responds with policy instruments and policy actions, and inflation comes back down. Uh, so I would expect that given all of the interventions of the central bank in particular, with regard to the monetary policy rates, um, hiking, uh, over the last two NPC missions, um, inflation will temper to a certain extent. But I'm not, uh, the timing of that is what, you know, I think may, 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 we, we may have to play a bit of a guessing game. Of course, we must also remember that the increase, the, 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 the improvement in the value of the Naira would also have a, uh, you know, a mitigating effect on inflation. You know, you would see inflation come down because, of course, as we all know, Nigeria does depend on a lot of import, imported items, you know, in our day to day activities. So if the Naira is improving in value, the cost of goods and services will go down which will affect, you know, the abatement of, of inflation. So if you look at the monetary policy rate, which, by the way, also has an impact in improving the value of the Naira, because that would attract um, foreign inflows, foreign, especially foreign portfolio mm. inflows, you know, into the country, which would improve liquidity and help improve the value of the Naira. So if you put that together, um, mm. the inflation will come down. Uh, but the timing of that, I, I'm not so confident that we'll, we can say soon. Mm. You know, I will define soon as maybe a month or two months. Okay. I think that before you begin to see inflation uh, reverse, you know, begin to come down month, year on year, okay. um, we'll probably will be talking towards the end of the year. You know, now we're, we're doing 30, 30, 33.2%, I believe. Yeah. Before you see that come back down to 30, okay. then below the 30, uh, you know, uh, percent benchmark, we'll probably be talking the end of the year. Okay, as we round off now, uh, let's just uh, sum everything up together. Now, criticism uh, has been directed at the CBN for its forex market management, while some, uh, with some arguing that successful forex management should lead to economic stability and prosperity. You know, but my question right now would be: uh, sometime last year, you know, analysts had said um, that uh, the naira would be changing for the dollar at about um, eight hundred or thereabouts. But where do you see? Uh, the Naira playing in the next six months? Um, if you ask me for an educated guess, based on the things that are driving the recovery of the Naira in the market, um, I would say by the end of the year, we should be trending around 900. My, my belief actually is that the central bank and uh, the finance team of the government, you know, believe that especially when you listen to some of the advisors, you know, who are now part of the economic team, the larger economic advisory committee for the president, the, the sentiments amongst the people in, on, on those committees mm. are that the, the, the appropriate value, the true value of the Naira is around 800 to 900 Naira to the dollar. Okay. If you use the purchasing power parity index, you know, that, that's what you'll get. You'll get the value of the Naira trending around 800 Naira. Uh, to 900 naira. So what I suspect will happen is, as soon as the naira stabilizes around that, and I believe that the naira will drop below the 1,000 naira to the dollar threshold in the next month or two. Okay. Um, and once we hit 850 to 900, the central bank is going to 
you begin to then play a balancing act to keep it around there. I mm -hmm. believe that that is the objective. So, so we should be seeing the Naira trend around 850,900 by the end of this year and probably stay there until okay. the fundamentals of the economy can support further improvement, you know, in the value until we can improve our export base, improve our foreign exchange earning capacity, even in the areas of remittances and, you know, um, investments, foreign direct and foreign oh, portfolio sure. investments and all of that put together. All right, we must say a very big um, thank you to you, um, Shago, for all of um, this useful insights that you always bring on the program. Shago Shubito is uh, the principal consultant, uh, a Woodward and School Term Consultant Limited. Many thanks for being a part of the show. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. All right. And with that, we conclude today's show. I am Justin Akadonia. I sincerely appreciate your presence throughout. Many thanks for being here.